learn later, you know, the Savior tells us that that the thorns are the um are the riches and mm. temptations of the world that that can choke out our testimony um, and choke one's faith. I think that it is important for us, I'm talking now as parents, um, to be wary of the thorns in our own children's lives. Oh, definitely. And to, because they are ubiquitous. Mm -hmm. And I think it is, um, it, it is a lot of work, actually, to be aware of the potential places and possibilities. And we want to give our children strength to be able to grow in every environment. But when they are young, it is important to try to fill their turf with so many good things that the thorns aren't so appealing. What do you think about that? I don't know. I, I, love, I love Jesus. Because <laughs> when I re read about the thorns, my first where my brain goes is, yeah, there are a lot of systemic difficulties that make it really difficult for certain people who have come into to situations of no no choice of their own. That's just where they landed. And, and that can totally choke out a ton of vigor and opportunity and all of these things. And it's something to be totally conscious of. But I love that when you're reading Christ's explanation, it's not, he doesn't pinpoint poverty. He doesn't pinpoint no. violence. He pinpoints the good things right. that distract us from him, which I think is so, because I don't think the other interpretation isn't sure. relevant, right. but I think Christ is so good at pointing out that, you know, too much of a good thing, too much of a good thing is, is really dangerous. Thorn. Big exactly. thorn. Yeah. Maybe the most dangerous thorn. Yeah, because it, it, I think so too. it's very easy to tell yourself you're doing the right thing if everything around you feels like life is easy and life is good. Yeah. Um, so I, I, who was the, the apostle who gave that wonderful talk years and years ago about the good things that aren't the best things? And oh, good, better, best. Yes. That, that was President Oaks. Oh. President, o President was, Oaks. No, there was, it was another one that he may have given one too. He may have been good, better, best. I think better, he gave best. the first good, the better, good best. better, best. There was another one even before that, I think, okay. that was given by um, one of the apostles who I don't, you know, the, in my early years, it was hard to keep everybody straight, you <laughs> know? I, it's so interesting. But he talked about all the good things in the world. I, because Elder... Um, Oaks talk, I remember that, and it came after this one because right. this it's one came best. years, years before, you know, when I was, we were watching it in the playroom before Gloriana was born, long time before she was born. And he just talked about all the activities in our life and how we needed to be careful because there were so many good activities and so many fun things to do and worthy things to do that we just needed to be evaluating whether they were contributing to our closeness to the Lord or whether they were ultimately diminishing it. And I thought that was very helpful. Paradigm. Well, it also makes me think of Alma chapter five, one of my favorite chapters in the Book of Mormon, in that it's basically Alma's general conference talk.